On Saturday last week, fish dealers in northern Uganda demonstrated at Pakwach Fisheries Checkpoint after their fish that was cleared at Elegu border post by Uganda Revenue Authority was later impounded by the fisheries unit. Although the impounded fish was valued at 17 million shillings in taxes, there are reports that it was immature. And I want all of us to be happy that when we resolve this issue, you will be happy and we shall be what? We shall be happy. The matter attracted the attention of some leaders who expressed dissatisfaction with the way government bodies operate. So my women are picked loan from Sentinel Bank with the Mioga, which because they want their children to survive. They want to send their children to school. So they went to Sudan, they bought a fish. After a fish reached into Legu, they have even there and clearance in this Uganda of ours. Almost 17 million we have done clearance. Like any the fish has arrived here at Yepakwach, a certain army has now come and blocked this fish, and yet the fish is from out country. The different arms of government do not respect the documents from another arm of government. The challenge here is not the women, it is not the fault in law, it is the fault of URA and the fisheries department that there is no coordination in government. To solve the fisheries impasse between Uganda and South Sudan, Ministry of Agriculture, Fishing and Animal Husbandry officials will meet their counterparts from South Sudan to assess the type of fish and number of tons to be imported into the country. But also what is very important is to send our technical team to get to know what type of fish do they have. Because as I say, like John Black, even if you give them, te I mean, that fish 10 years, it will not grow. So when we discover this is what Sudan has got, we now uh, get maybe a memorandum of understanding and how many can, how many lorries can be imported in this. Adowa says the importation of immature fish is a threat to Uganda's government that is currently fighting illegal fishing. She adds that the consumers will not benefit from consuming immature fish since it lacks the desired nutrients. Becca Senyonga Mlinde, NTV, tonight.